My name's Barbara Knezovich and the title of this exhibition is The Last Thing on Earth. The exhibition in the MAC um, begins with a very specific proposition. Um, the proposition is, what if this is the last thing on Earth? What if this is the last bit of stuff or matter that has been extracted from the Earth? Um, so what, you, what you're seeing is a, is a very strange, specific marble sculpture that um, somewhere, dwells somewhere between like an artefact and an artwork or like some kind of undefined implement. You're not quite sure what it's for, possibly. It's sort of um, an en enigmatic kind of thing. It's, um, it looks like maybe it was designed by committee. Um, and in a way, I suppose it's quite ungainly and ugly, but it's, it's willfully so. Um, so. This marble sculpture is placed within this kind of scene, this very, um, very considered display um, that contains lots and lots of other physical objects. Um, and I think um, these things are all competing with one another in a way. And I think it's about trying to figure out at what point do we lose or do we, can, do we lose the focus on this one very odd sculptural thing. An early reference with this work was the Albert Dürer engraving called Melancholia. And in this engraving there is this very strange form sort of in the in the mid-ground of the engraving. And there's been a lot of scholarship about this, this, this strange sort of geometric form. And what does it mean? And why is it there? It's not quite clear. But um, that form um, was, it's called Jura's Solid actually. And it was an early inspiration for this, um, or it's, it was a touchstone for this particular sculptural thing in the space in the Mac. There are multiple narratives within this work. There are philosophical, museological and historical narratives. Um, there are sort of economic narratives. Um, I'm not sure how well they marry together in a way. And in, in a way, they're kind of, un it's an uneasy marriage, I suppose, of competing demands on a very specific artwork. Um, I think that's a willful thing on my part, that I like. I'd like this to be uneasy, I'd like this to be a bit cacophonous that in terms of the demands on this thing. Um, so how to manage that in the context of making an artwork or making this installed kind of scenario, I suppose, is that I set about sort of making a visual language or a lexicon of clues or touchstones for the viewer to oscillate around and between. Um, and in, within that I wanted this lexicon to be instructive but also to allow space and enough so that, you know, together in concert these things in this space are still able to be unknowable and strange. And I think it's important to sort of say that um, this kind of scenographic display um, is kind of resisting the viewer to. It never allows you to, or I hope that it doesn't allow you to ever forget that what you're doing is looking at something that's very constructed, that's very set-like. It doesn't allow you to kind of enter into this kind of um, immersive or almost a fantasy situation where these things are unhooked from, from what you know to be happening. That is that this is a staging of an artwork. My practice has been turned a sculptural practice um, and sometimes the work is concerned with matters of sculpture or things concerning sculpture historically or art historically. But I think it's probably more correct um, to describe it as interested in things in the world. Um, so matter, forms, commodities um, and objects, but very specifically artworks because that's what I deal in as artworks. Um, and I'm thinking about these things as expressions of the human relationship to the things around us, um, or it's a manifestation of, of human interactions with things, but also of non-human interactions with things. Um, so these, these ideas have been sort of in my practice have been thought through via the making of three-dimensional spatial forms and also through more recently through image making and even more recently through some moving image and sound work. This work in the Mac 
is sort of representative of a slight departure in the way that I've been thinking about these ideas. Um, so it's a movement away from the making of these very self-contained, discreet, um, individual artworks um, toward an understanding of things as they may be in concert with one another. So things in more complex kind of uh, constellations or arrangements. There's a convention around making art that the artist presents the work in talk or you know does a floor talk. Um, this is really accepted convention and I think that um, it's important to be careful about how you talk about your own work and what you reveal and what you don't reveal. Um, because I think that the danger is by talking too much about what it might mean, you lose the mystery or you, you, know, you, you take something from it ultimately. And um, I'm, always, I'm always cautious about how much I say or what I say, really specifically what I say because I like there to be a generosity about how people can enter the work. And I think that the more explanation or the more meaning that I put out there about the work, I think that starts to close down.